Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I, uh, those of you that don't know it, there's a guy, his name was Adam Weisthaupt, and uh, he was the founder of the secret society called the Illuminati. Uh, to illuminate means to cast light on something. And you know what it means to be naughty, don't you? So, uh, yeah. You know, what's that Christmas song? Um, you better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Satan's claws is coming to town. Something like that, right? Uh, yeah, the Illuma... Naughty. Yeah, he was naughty, all right. Uh, he was a devil. And he's got a book called Christianity, The Devil's Greatest Trick. Oh, yeah. See, notice the upside down cross. Yeah. Um, and he writes in his book, It's a simple fact that most Christians know next to nothing about Christianity. Well, that's true. How many of your people are aware of the many heresies that were stamped out by the early church? Had any of these heresies triumphed, the world would be a better, a very different and much saner place. Find out about the monstrous St. Augustine and his doctrines of grace, original sin, predestination, and the total depravity of the human race. This saint was happy to send to hell unbaptized babies that died in infancy. Uh, I doubt that, but that these are his words, not mine. His greatest, his great enemy was the humane and rational Celtic monk Pelagius. The great tragedy of Christianity is that it listened to Augustine rather than Pelagius, and it did so for the oldest of reasons, because Augustine offered the officials of... the church more much more personal power uh, let's see and he continues writing uh, were many people in the ancient world known as the son of God are the Christian concepts of the Holy Trinity and the incarnation of God in man the most logically incoherent doctrines ever devised. Yeah. You see, uh, Bob's note here. People believe that man can uh, merge into the Godhead or man can become God, but they can't wrap their head around that God became man. Read 1 Timothy 3.16. God was manifest in the flesh. And uh, yeah, he's got a few more things to say. Why is reincarnation much more logical than resurrection? Why is it that so few Christians understand the concept of resurrection? Should the story of the Garden of Eden be completely reinterpreted for the contemporary world? Uh... And then he says, are Jews, Christians, and Muslims actually belong to an earlier and more stupid stage of human evolution? Uh, this guy sounds like a real winner, huh? Um, he says, can the tales of Abraham and the Garden of Eden prove that Jews, Christians, and Muslims worship the devil? Did the sacred Jewish covenant with uh, YHWH result in all Jews going to hell according to the Christian doctrine of original sin? Is everybody mentioned in the Old Testament even now in hell? Huh. Well, at least he got one thing right. Uh, you reject Christ, your, your place is uh, set. You won't have to worry about ever uh, freezing... Freezing... Uh, yeah, something like that. So, 
Anyone well versed in the study of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam cannot fail to conclude that the God of these religions must be considered to be identical with Satan, i.e. Abrahamists are under the power of the devil, hence why they have committed so many evil acts throughout history. Uh, well, that's because we got infiltrated by you people, Mr. Weisthauf. That's Bob's note there. Uh, by the time you have finished this book, you will be able to demonstrate to anyone who does not repudiate Abraham's God as evil. Do not read this book if you are a closed-minded Abrahamist. The material in this book is provided by the Pythagorean uh, Illuminati, the oldest secret society in the world, and is not for petty, cheap, narrow-minded religious fanatics. Well, I guess that's me. And if you don't know who uh, Pythagorean is, he's the one that came up with Pythagorean's uh, that triangle type thing. So, uh, it's an, I think it's an equilateral triangle. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've taken math like that in college or whatever. So, all right. Well, uh, take a look at the... Um, Nice uh, upside down crosses that was on the um, picture of Christianity, you know. And uh, look at some of the people that wear upside down crosses. What do you get when you cross um, a lawyer from hell? I mean, I'm sorry, a, a demon from hell with a lawyer. You get Chelsea Clinton. There you go. All right, let's look at the next one. Yeah, look at who's wearing those upside-down crosses. All right, so uh, the um, Six-Pointed Star Group. Uh, the Illuminati Six-Dimensional Universe by Adam Weistauf. The cosmos that underlies the Pythagorean Illuminati's ancient religion of Illuminism, and to illuminate means light. And what, is a, what is Satan called? An angel of light. Matter of fact, we ought to take a look at that real quick. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers are also transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Okay, so uh, look at that six pointed star. Yeah, six dimensions, three of real space, you know, height, width, and length and three of imaginary space. Although imaginary space isn't, of course, imaginary at all, but has ontological reality. To be more exact, it is the origin of time rather than space. Um, let's see, why are they talking about Einstein here? I, Einstein didn't even exist when uh, Weisthauf wrote this book. Uh, the book explains the true nature of time, the speed of light, and thereby explains how God, the soul, and the afterlife are all inevitable. Uh, let's see. This is extremely complex philosophical, mathematical, and scientific material that reveals the staggering difference between the childish cosmology of the Abrahamists compared with that of the Illuminati. The naughty Illuminus, uh, it should be, right? Uh, let's see. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, they love that six-pointed star. And after all, we know who belongs to the six-pointed star, right? So, yeah. All right, so what about um, the last one? Well, guess what, people? That is... Adam Weishaupt book, Jesus, Prince of Hell. 
How lovely. He writes, you may think you know everything about, uh, you need to know about the historical figure, Jesus Christ, but every church belief you have about him is false. Jesus Christ is a fake and a fraud. Now, these are his words, not mine. For a start, his name wasn't Jesus Christ, but Yahashua ben Yusuf, Joshua, son of Joseph. Ah, there's that sacred name stuff, huh? And just as his name is a fiction designed to disguise the truth, so is everything else about him. We will demonstrate the following. The central promise of Christianity, the resurrection of the dead, is utterly wrong. Bob's note. Oh boy, are they going to be in for a big, warm surprise. Let's keep reading. As we shall show, the Christmas Gospels demonstrate conclusively that Jesus Christ was reincarnated, not resurrected. <laughs> Jesus Christ was a central figure in one of the most audacious plots in history. He was the head of an elite family that wished to rule the world. The family exists to this day and their conspiracy is unchanged. Oh yeah, you know what that conspiracy is? Uh, Bob's note here. Um, <laughs> when Christ returns in glory uh, with a flaming sword, a bunch of angels with his flaming sword and kills everybody, that's going to be the uh, conspiracy, yeah. Uh, all right. The family exists to this day and their conspiracy is unchanged. Jesus Christ was a leader of an army that sought to overthrow Roman rule in Judea. He was executed as a violent revolutionary attempting to set him up to set himself up as a king. Oh boy, I wonder. <laughs> uh, Judas, the infamous traitor, was the brother of Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Uh, I gotta put some boots on. It's get this this manure. Is getting deep. The biggest lie and fraud in history has endured too long. This is the book by the Pythagorean Illuminati, the most ancient secret society in the world. The Illuminati's religion is illumination. Um, uh, yeah, illuminating from the angel of light. Illuminate means to shed light on something. So, yeah. Uh, the Illuminati's religion is illumination, a mathematical, mathematical, scientific, and philosophical version of Gnosticism. This is the world's only rational and true religion. Oh, boy. I think this guy has earned himself a place you know where. Yeah, before there was a guy, a Satanist called Aleister Crawley, there was Adam Weisthauf. And he set about to infiltrate the Masonic Lodges. Um, I suspect the Masonic Lodges in Europe were somewhat different from the ones in America. It took them a little bit longer to infiltrate the ones in America. But, you know, so... Yeah, they were kind of like a lodge within a lodge. So, all right. Um, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' precious name, amen.